Hello everybody, my name is Sean. This is Chris over in the driver's seat. He's my trainee. I'm a trainer here at Rosedale Transport. Today's video, we're going to do a little video. This is fourth day driving here at Rosedale. We're going to go over a little truck driving tips. So make sure you watch the video all the way to the end. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Let's get into it. We're at North of Louisville. We've got a long ways to go, but stopped, took a shower, got all fresh up. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean. This is Mr. Chris Brown over here. It's his How third. You doing today? It's his third day driving. He's doing great, man. He's uh getting used to the truck. He's been with me now since Thursday. I mean, sorry, since Sunday. So Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night. Today is uh, Wednesday, so three nights. So this is actually fourth day, but it's third day driving. And we're out in Missouri, right here, uh, mile marker 54, not far from Kansas. We had an interesting day yesterday, didn't we? Yes, sir. Yesterday we had to deal with some tornadoes. I don't know if y'all seen our videos or not, but uh, we had to deal with some, de uh, you know, tornado weather in southern Indiana, Kentucky. It actually knocked over four semis near where we were at, so it was kind of crazy, y'all. Uh, definitely one of them stay safe when you're driving out here. Listen, drivers, you've got to watch out. This is something I was explaining, which he already knew that he already knew this, but I was explaining to Chris yesterday that overpasses are very dangerous to drive under because it does it creates like this funnel and it sucks you out. Yeah. Um, the best thing you can do when you're in a situation like we was in yesterday is find a truck stop or a building. But in the situation we were in, there was no truck stops there. Kind of had to stop. You yeah, you just kind of kind of stop. Yeah, traffic slowed down and we just stopped. You keep your seatbelt on. And when, you know, we were, we wouldn't ride in the heart of a tornado. We were several miles probably from one, but uh, maybe further than that. But we didn't miss it by much though. Where no, the trucks were turned over. We no, were right there about ten minutes before that. Yeah, yeah, we, there were four semis that turned over, so we were close. But we seen debris and stuff going off the side of the road. But um, in a situation like that, you just got to stop, and that's what we did. Put your seatbelt on. You know the breeze flying. You need to cover your head up. Uh, maybe cover up with a blanket. And do whatever you can it usually passes quick but you know you need to protect yourself especially protect your face your eyes stuff like that you know but there's all you can do is all you can do when you get out west like we're going out here in kansas you actually can see the tornadoes off the distance if it's in the daytime uh if you can try to drive away from it is good it's not always the best to do but sometimes you try to get out of the you know the heart of it from a direct hit but yeah definitely definitely crazy but yeah he's learning a lot uh, we was going over mile markers the other day, I believe. Yeah. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but when you're traveling west like we are, you see this is mile marker 52. When you're going west, mile markers are counting down. So that means we're 52 miles away from the next state, which is Kansas. If you're going east, they're counting up. If you're going south, they're counting down. If you're going north, they're counting up. So you kind of keep an idea of where you're at and everything. Uh, but the main thing that he's learning right now is, you know, just uh, he's learning to drive, which he's already, he already knows how to drive, but he's he's been doing very good driving and staying in his lane. Uh, we, we don't do a lot of lane changes unless we have to, and when we do, it's called a 10-second rule. He'll put his blinker on for a few seconds, then he slowly gets over. The whole thing takes about 10 seconds. The blinker, like he just had on, was probably three or four seconds. And then he slowly got over, which makes it, you know, I call it the 10 second rule of lane changes. And we stay out of that left lane if all possible. Uh, and something, you gotta pay attention to the signs. Um, the signs just tell you no trucks in left lane or no trucks in left two lanes. They change a lot. So one of the biggest tips out here that I can explain to y'all is to follow your signs, your speed limit signs. Um, which lane you need to be in. No truck routes, you know, stuff like that. You gotta pay attention to that. So just like they taught you in CDL school, always read your signs. Keep up with the mile marker so you know where you're at. And just basically just scan. You know, we gotta scan everything all the time. Always looking, always checking your mirrors. Uh, tell them about the, uh, the thing you come up with earlier that you noticed. Oh, I noticed earlier, if I pay attention to my front mirror that's on the front of the truck on the right, 
I can see my line a little better. It keeps me from having to turn my head and look in that mirror. Because when you turn your head, you have a tendency to turn steer that way. So I can just glance up at that mirror. Or if I'm in the left lane, I can look at that mirror and see my line. I don't have to turn my head. So right, right. And then if you are off, you'd look at the other one. Yeah. Lines and, and like I said, just scan all your mirrors as best you can, you know, and, and pay attention. You'll learn little tricks like this when you get out. Always look ahead. Like I see, we got a guy up here in the caution lane up here. Um, he's going to put his blinker on and slowly get over to the next lane. When you're changing lanes, that's another thing, y'all. You've got to pay attention to your mirror. You got to follow yeah, it through. Watching mirrors. Yeah, because when you're getting over, what will happen is you got your blinker on. I'm giving plenty of notice. As you're starting to get over, you'll be halfway in that lane, and a car kind of come around you. If you ain't careful, you'll hit them. So you gotta watch that. And then also we talked about. I don't know if you remember we talked about the other day about the uh, lane changes. If you start to go in a lane, now unless there's a car there, don't just jerk it back unless there's a car there, and then you gotta get out of the way. Yeah, of course, but commit to the lane. I've seen drivers where they'll put the blinker on, they're getting over, like, oh, that's not my lane. And they go back, but it causes the same reaction. The person on the left side is gonna come around you. So you wanna make sure that your, your lane changes is big out here and paying attention to way up ahead of you, all the way up where you see the lights. Watch your tail lights. Watch what's going on, not just right here, but way up there. Uh, another tip I can give you is do not ride in packs. I see that all the time where truck drivers are riding right next to each other. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Right on each other's tails like this. And what happens is that one of them have a wreck and they just bam, 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 bam. I see that so many times. I don't want to be a part of that. I want to be a way out. So especially in the winter and the snow, you got the ice, stuff happens. That's how you have those big pile of car ups. Everybody's going too fast for conditions and they're riding in packs. I like riding back like this so that way I can, if I need to make a move, I can make a move and not kill nobody or kill myself. So you definitely want to pay attention to that. But uh, yeah, so today we're just, we're heading out west. He's got 642 miles. We're just going to roll. He's getting used to being in the truck. He's getting used to driving. Uh, and we're going to start working on backing tomorrow. Uh, we'll start doing a lot of backing different things tomorrow and get working on that. So uh, he needs some practice. It's been, you know, 15 years since he backed up a trailer, but we're going to get him right. And I appreciate y'all watching and uh, enjoying the journey so far. And I will get back with you later on. And uh, we'll do some more um, trucking tips. Thank you for watching the video so far. And I'll be giving you a... Uh, you have any questions, Chris, so far? Anything you want to tell the audience? No, sir. I think pretty much got it. You know, right, right. Yeah, you're doing good. Go. It was hard getting used to the first few nights in the truck. Just getting used to the truck. Getting, you know, acquainted yeah, with you. Right, and, right, right. You know, everything. Anything worth it takes time to learn. Right. You got good sleep last night though, didn't oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> he was tired. He got so tired. He said, oh, I slept too. Like, I slept all night. Like uh, We were tired. We ran hard. A good meal that Sean cooked. That's right. Stuffed, uh, stuffed pork chops. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah, they're good. The man can't only drive a truck, but he can cook like that. <laughs> I tried to. I tried to. Oh, yeah. We had mashed potatoes and pork chops last night, so that was kind of cool. But yeah, so we westbound and down. We about 49 miles from uh, Kansas. We made it through the storms yesterday and uh, temperature definitely dropped. I don't know what the uh, temperature is right now, but uh, what does it say over there? It's a, it's a 44, but man, it felt like 24 this morning, didn't it? <laughs> we realized one thing, we wasn't in Georgia no more, right? <laughs> but I appreciate you watching the video. Hey, listen, by the way, if you're looking for a good company to work for, call the number at the bottom of the screen, 706-226-1003. They do hire new drivers right out of school, or if you need a refresher. He got a CDL 16 years ago and never used them. So they still hired him, no experience. I'm a trainer here, there's other trainers here that can, um, that will help you and we'll, we'll teach you, we'll teach you that the, the, the art of truck and not just run as team. Some companies out there run day night, day night. We're not do that, we pull over and go to sleep. You actually learn something here. So call the number at the bottom of the screen, ask for Tina, Tell me, boy, Sean sent you. If you're an experienced driver, man, when I say experience, you just need six months experience. You get a $4,500 sign-on bonus. You get $1,500 your first week, $1,530 days, 30 calendar days, and $1,500 in six months. So in the first month, you're gonna get that $3,000 bonus. They pay good, mileage is good. You know, yeah, you can make more percent per mile to other companies, but this company here gives you average miles 28 to 3200 they pay more than anybody for new drivers but experienced drivers if you're looking 
for steady mileage and great home time, then I don't know why you ain't called. And if you want to email me to ask me questions, my email's at the top of the screen. Truckinglifewithshawn at gmail.com. Send me an email. I'd love to talk to you. And uh, let's get trucking. It's Trucking Live with Sean. You know what we say. Let's get it.